Hi, my name is Sam Led, and welcome to the Fearless Now. This is for you, you, and you in the nosebleed seats. If you're looking for an easier way to approach anxiety, stress, and unhealthy habits from the inside out, there's no techniques and no strategies. So sit back, relax, and let me be your peace of mind Uber driver here on the Fearless Now. Welcome to the Fearless Now podcast. We just reached episode number 25, ladies and gentlemen. And to me, sitting in this chair here in beautiful downtown Santa Barbara, California, that is, is a big accomplishment. And the reason why it's so easy to get to number 25 doing this is because I'm doing it for all of you, for you, you, and you in the nosebleed seats. This is a passion of mine. It's a labor of love of mine to share the wisdom of the three principles with all of you. And I've done it 25 times already. I'm sure the first couple episodes, well, probably more than the first couple episodes weren't that great. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? So before I begin, before we take a deep dive, before we really get present with each other, how are you guys doing? Just want to know, how are you doing? Are you present with me? Where are you right now? Are you in Topeka? Are you in uh, Fort Lauderdale? Are you in Los Angeles? Are you in Berlin? Where are you? I want to know where all of you are. Wherever you are, doesn't matter. Because the most important thing right now in this moment is that you are present here with me in this moment, with both feet on the ground, feeling and seeing beyond my words throughout this entire podcast. I want you just to take a deep breath, get really present, whatever you have on your desk right now, actually, whether you're in your office at work or at home or you're If you're driving, okay, just get present. Just get present. Just listen to the sound of my voice. What comes up for you? What doesn't come up for you? It doesn't matter. And I want you just to just drop in to this moment, this fearless moment right now. Doesn't matter where you are in life or what station you are in life, whether you are living in a shack tone shack or in a mansion in Beverly Hills or you're retired, living in Florida or you're just starting out in life. We all have this superpower. We all have this gift. It's this moment right now. It's this fearless moment right now. But as as perfectly imperfect human beings are, all of you, 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 and you over there in the nosebleed seats, the one thing you can't fuck up, the one thing that you'll never get wrong is when you drop into the present moment And you see who and what you really are, which is kind, which is calm, which is full of wisdom. You feel the current, the calm, gentle current of life taking you along a ride. You kind of see that inner GPS working over time to guide you along this river called life. Not to get too pithy or metaphorical, but it is true, a spiritual truth, a real truth, a truth truth. And when you can see that, like I see that, anything is possible. Now, there's free will, and of course, nothing is guaranteed in life. But you give yourself that possibility, wherever you are, whatever station of life you are in right now, to find solutions to your outside world's problems, even though the inside world that you, your soul, your conscious soul is perfect, you find ideas for your next book. You go on a dating app and you find the love of your life. You buy that car that you've always wanted. Or you just are present, breathing here, right here with me, this special moment that we all share, my friends. You guys are part of the fearless army, all of you. So today in this podcast, we're going to talk about using your superpowers against yourself. It's kind of like, imagine walking around and you had a stun gun in your hand. And then every now and then the stun gun or you hit the trigger button and the stun gun and it went off and it zapped you right in the the forehead, right? That's what happens when we use the, the superpower that we have, this brilliant superpower that is God given to us through 
this brilliant machine called the brain, this supercomputer with a very, very sophisticated operating system trying to keep you safe very innocently, but it doesn't know its head from its asshole. Excuse my vulgarities, excuse my French, but I just speak from my truth and share it with you. And hopefully your truth comes out beyond my words. And because our brain, it's a brilliant supercomputer, it's not a soul. It's not, a, it's not who you are. You, who you are, is part of this whole enchilada underneath what the brain is trying to do. And the brain is a system, is a computer, it's a machine that's doing the best job it can to do so many things at once. Think about that for a second. I mean, you don't think about respiration all the time. You're not taking notes on, you know what, maybe if I take five breaths this time, maybe if I take seven breaths this time, I, I maybe I need to think about going to the bathroom, right? Sometimes we think about going to the bathroom, but all these things that our brain does for us, we don't even think about it. It just does anyways. Modulates organ systems, does all these amazing things, keeps you safe, signals secretion of neurochemicals when we're actually being chased by a saber-toothed tiger, not the, the illusory thinking around fear when there is no saber-toothed tiger present. Future fantasy, dread, doom and gloom, all that stuff. So give your brain a break, ladies and gentlemen. As weird as that sounds, your brain is doing its best to keep you safe in the outside world. But the world inside of you, who you are, the conscious you, the perfect you, the all-knowing you, the well-being you, underneath the brain spewing 75,000 thoughts a day at you. Your innocent brain doing its best to keep you safe, loves you, but doesn't understand what the conscious you, the you-you, the you that's ever-present, the you of the formless, not the physical you, the you that makes you you, makes you John, makes you Susie, makes you... Muhammad makes you Jacob. It's like the brain just is unable to put all the pieces together when it comes to the conscious you. So it does the best job it can to inform you, 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 of the world around you through language, through thought, through thinking. And sometimes, <laughs> or in some cases, in my case, a lot of times, my supercomputer glitches and my thinking goes sideways and my mood goes to the dark side sometimes, like all of us sometimes. But once we see there's just a glitch, a temporary glitch in the operating system of our brilliant brain, of our ever-evolving sponge, of a brilliant supercomputer, it's just, there's a bug in the system. But you know what? What is 100% true, and you don't have to look this up in Google because it is truth, our brain has the most brilliant ability to correct itself. It has a self-correcting system. It has an auto-update system when we get caught up in a low mood, when we get just caught up in, in our own humanness or in our own shit, when we get yelled at by a boss or when someone cuts us off in the freeway and we, our brain is erroneously placing all kinds of story around that situation. And we take the bait and we get sucked into it. And we, you know, maybe we have road rage. And we start yelling at the other driver or we get pissed off at our family member or our cat takes a dump in the middle of our family room and we get really angry. But then we beat ourselves up for being angry and we beat ourselves up for behaving the way we do and reacting. But you know what? All that is okay because then we see what is going on. You know, you don't have to censor yourself. Yeah, you don't want to act like a total asshole in front of strangers and hurt somebody, God forbid, or hurt your pa partner physically or emotionally. That's not okay. What I'm talking about is, you know, sometimes we get angry and we yell, right? And we snap. That's just part of being human. That's just part of the brain glitching sometimes. And when you can let yourself off the hook for being human, but then seeing how the mind works when our thinking goes sideways, when we are triggered by something, we could just sit still with it. 
we can catch ourselves when we scare ourselves to death or catch ourselves when we stress ourselves to death. But psychology, God bless their hearts, therapists and psychologists and psychiatrists out there in 2021 society have it backwards, innocently. You know, they see the world as, as outside in, that, you know, our external world has a big influence in, on us. Well, there may be, if we're living in, in a polluted neighborhood, you know, where there's, I don't know, dioxin in the soil and we're getting cancer, that's one thing. But when it comes to day-to-day life, when it comes to just living your life step-by-step, nothing outside of us, unless we're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger or someone has a gun and they're holding it to our head, hopefully our brain will act quickly and you know, we'll either run or we'll do anything to keep ourselves from getting shot, right? Hopefully, you all get it that nothing outside of us can influence us to make us feel anything, even if it feels that way sometimes. Our brain's got it backwards and it's doing its best. But when you catch yourself scaring yourself over time, you know, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to like, I don't know, you don't have to, there's no technique. There's no thought stopping technique that all these cognitive behavioral therapists do. Um, It's just seeing it. And the more you see it, the less it becomes a big deal when we get scared. My example is me driving on the freaking freeway. And most of you like drive on the freeway, on the highways, like it's second nature. You don't even think about it. It's like brushing your teeth or, or combing your hair. Well, my brain, because it's trying to keep me safe, erroneously freaks out sometimes when I'm driving on the freeway and I get freaked the fuck out. And, you know, my thinking goes sideways. I start scaring myself. I start getting panicky and anxious and my palms sweat. But then I start seeing it for what it is. It's not going to kill me. It's not going to harm me. I might feel really scared. My heart might be beating out of my chest. But there's all this wisdom inside of me, this internal GPS underneath all of that panic that is all there on offer for me to access. And when I catch myself in that panic mode, driving on the freeway and getting really scared about nothing because nothing's going on. My brain is making up all kinds of story that it's labeling as, oh, this guy in the lane is going to hit you or there's too many cars on the freeway and everyone's driving too fast. There's no shoulder. So how are you going to get, there's emergency. How are you going to pull off the freeway if, if your car has a flat tire or you have a blowout? All these scenarios, all of this thinking going on when we know that the chances of that happening are not that great and that we ultimately have control of our vehicle. We do have control even if our brain is making us feel like we don't have control. And that goes with everything in life. So what are we going to do with all this delicious three principles, fresh flavors, 31 flavors of of spiritual truth? Well, we're going to catch ourselves and we're going to see how our brilliant brain sometimes just fucks up, just like your MacBook Pro fucks up and it it freezes. My my computer froze today and I was like almost having a hissy fit because it was almost, I didn't know what to do. And eventually I calmed down and um, the computer reset. Well, actually I hit the power button and it reset. And the iOS, the operating system did a whole, you know, diagnostic check and the computer started working again. Same thing goes with our phones and the same thing goes for all of you. The next time, you know, you start freaking out, maybe your a family member is sick and they're very close to you and they're, you know, maybe a first cousin or maybe it's your sibling, it's really sick and your mind's going to, oh, wait a second, they have cancer. So I'm probably going to get cancer because there's a genetic proclivity towards it. What part of that is true? I mean, I would say we all have the proclivity, have the vulnerability of getting cancer. I mean, we have cancer in our body running around even when we're completely healthy. It's just a, an over-reproduction of cells going haywire. We can get caught up in that story our brain is making up, but at this moment or at that moment when you're obsessing about that, that we all tend to do sometimes, including myself, we can just take a deep breath. We can just get present. We can see the thinking for what it is. 
absolute nonsense. And when we do that, when we see it more, we're able to drop into this fearless moment, this, this fearless time we're in, this special moment that I'm sharing with you right now when you're listening to this podcast. How special is that, right? At this moment, you're alive and kicking. It's like that Simple Mind song. Great song, by the way. You're sitting here or driving or in your cubicle with me right now. We're here together. And time and space doesn't matter. You're present with me. You're alive. How great is that? Okay, finances aren't that great. And your family member is sick. And your dog is old. And your car is a leaking head gasket. Okay, but in this moment, everything is perfect. And the outside world doesn't matter because you're here with me in this fearless moment, in the fearless now. I hope this has been helpful. Now, I just posted a Patreon link to um, the uh, Fearless Army Patreon donation page. I just started a Patreon page, which is really cool because anything that you can contribute to this podcast, because this podcast is for you guys. And there are a lot of people, especially right now, I've read somewhere that 51%, actually, I know an article was sent to me by a good friend of mine. And in the article, it said that 51% of Americans are depressed or feeling or having, are caught up in, in some crazy thinking, some sad thinking, some, some fearful thinking, which is understandable uh, because the way the brain is trying to keep you safe, thinks it's going to send you a whole bunch of sped up, anxious and scary thinking, the brain doesn't know. It's just trying to keep you safe, but that's not how, that's not going to keep you safe. But anyways, it doesn't matter. 51% of Americans are depressed right now. Think about that for a second. That's messed up. So this podcast is for all those lost sailors that feel depressed right now, that need to hear this. I started a Patreon page to donate whatever you can, whether it's $1 or $100, it doesn't matter. I'm creating a fearless army of fearless now listeners because your listeners make this podcast possible. I have many costs for this podcast. I have, I have someone that I spend almost, I think I spend a couple hundred dollars a month to mix and to edit and to make this, this podcast sound as good as it can be for all of you, for you, you, and you in the nosebleed seats. So please donate what you can today. Go to www.patreon slash samled5555. It's www.patreon, P A T R E O N dot com slash samled5555. And every contribution, I just want to say thank you. I'm so grateful. And you can become a member of the Fearless Army, Fearless Now Army Patreon community. And every contribution, $45 a month or more, you're going to get a limited edition Fearless Now t-shirt. You can show off to all your friends and tell them all about how, how much you love this podcast. And you'll have an opportunity to listen to some ex- exclusive coaching and some webinars and some, some live webinars that we'll be doing on the, only on the Patreon channel if you are a member. That will be really, really powerful, and I think you're going to love it. So what are you going to do when you finish this podcast? You're going to go to my Patreon channel or my Patreon page and donate what you can. I'm so grateful, everybody. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you for listening to The Fearless Now. I'll see you again next week for another episode of The Fearless Now. Bye.